while the applications that we have installed onto our Synology NAS via Package Center will be very stable. Synology have not made it obvious how we can set packages to automatically update themselves or how we can stop or uninstall a package from our NAS. If we log into this station manager using an account with administrator's rights and then from within the DSM we open Package Center. When Package Center loads, from the sidebar if we select Installed, we should be able to see a list of all of the packages that have been installed onto our NAS. Now if we place our mouse pointer over one of the installed packages, you can see that that package becomes highlighted. From within the highlighted area, there are two elements that we can select. The first is the Open button which if selected will open the application onto the desktop of this station manager. However, if we select an area away from the open button, rather than being presented with the application, instead we are shown a summary page of the package. From within the summary, we will find a description of the package installed on our NAS. That package's current status, suggestions for other packages that we can install, the version of the package installed, and which volume the package has been installed on. Let's return to the top of the page where we will find a button with a drop down menu. If we select the drop down menu, we are presented with three options. Stop, as the name suggests, will stop a package from running on our NAS. This can be useful if you find that a specific application on your NAS is not performing or behaving in the way that it should. We can use the stop command to isolate that specific package, stop it from running, and then restart the package without having to reboot the NAS. As you can see, when we stop a package, the open button changes to run. Let's select run to once again start download station. The next option in the drop down menu is uninstall, which we will take a look at in a moment. Auto update will, if selected, allow Download Station to automatically update itself as and when Synology releases updates or bug fixes. After selecting auto update, by returning to the drop down menu, you can see that auto update is now enabled. The final option in the drop down menu is uninstall. When we select this option, a wizard is displayed to help guide us through the process for uninstalling Download Station. First, we are asked if we want to delete the database that Download Station uses. As we do not intend to install Download Station at a later date, we will check the checkbox next to Permanently Delete Database. When we select Apply, the package for Download Station is uninstalled from our NAS, and Download Station no longer appears on our list of installed packages.